hello everyone welcome to the mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to solve these nice uh, two integrals so uh, first evaluate uh, i integral from 0 to infinity cosine of natural log of x over 1 plus x uh, of x square dx so how to begin well uh, here uh, in the numerator we have cosine of natural log of x so uh, using Euler's formula we know x to the i is equal to cosine of natural log of x plus i times sine of natural log of x so uh, here we have cosine of natural log of x so cosine of natural log of x is equal to uh, real part of x to the i so we can write uh, our integral is equal to a real part of integral from 0 to infinity now instead of cosine of natural log of x we have uh, x to the i over 1 plus x uh, perfect square dx uh, also uh, now i'm going to use the uh, beta function so i'm going to rearrange the powers integral from 0 to infinity here we have x to the i now instead of i uh, we can write 1 plus i minus 1 over 1 plus x 1 plus x uh, raised to the uh, here 2 power so we can write 1 plus i plus 1 minus i dx okay then uh, let's consider about beta function we have beta of mn is equal to integral from 0 to infinity x to the n minus 1 over 1 plus x raised to the m plus n dx so we can represent our integral uh, by using a beta function so we have uh, real part of here beta of beta of 1 plus i comma 1 minus i then uh, we can represent a beta function by using a gamma function we know beta of mn is equal to gamma of m times gamma of n over gamma of m plus n so we have here a real part of a gamma of 1 plus i times gamma of 1 minus i over gamma of 1 plus i plus 1 minus i okay let us simplify here uh, i get cancelled and here we have gamma of 2 gamma of 2 we know is equal to 1 then uh, here uh, in the numerator we have a real part of here gamma of 1 plus i we know gamma of 1 plus x is equal to x times sorry is equal to x times uh, gamma of x so gamma of 1 plus i we can write i times gamma of i uh, times gamma of 1 minus i then uh, here we have uh, real part of i times gamma of i gamma of 1 minus i uh, but uh, we know about all this reflection formula gamma of x gamma of 1 minus x is equal to pi over sine of pi x now instead of x here we have i uh, so we have pi times i over sine of sine of pi times i sine of pi times i now uh, here uh, real part of pi times i over now sine of pi i we know sine of pi i is equal to i times hyperbolic uh, sine of pi now we know i uh, get cancelled so here we have pi over hyperbolic sine of pi okay this is the answer for our first integral so now let's evaluate uh, the second integral integral from 0 to 1 integral from 0 to 1 cosine of natural log of x over 1 plus x square dx okay now uh, we know x to the i is equal to cosine of natural log of x plus i times sine of natural log of x then if we take x to the minus i we know cosine of 
natural log of x minus i times sine of natural log of x then uh, if we take the uh, sum of uh, these two equations so we have x to the i plus x to the minus i is equal to now this part get cancelled so 2 times cosine of natural log of x then we can isolate the cosine of natural log of x we know this is equal to x to the i plus x to the minus i over 2 now we can write here integral from 0 to 1 instead of cosine of ln x we have uh, x to the i plus x to the minus i over 2 so 2 we can write outside of the integral sign and uh, in the denominator we have 1 plus x square dx okay then uh, i'm going to uh, take a substitution here we have x square so uh, let's take x square is equal to u then if we differentiate 2 times x dx is equal to uh, du next uh, we can plug in uh, here one half integral from now limit also uh, 0 to 1 now x we know u to the uh, one half so we have u to the i over 2 plus u to the minus i over 2 over 1 plus u times dx dx is equal to du over 2 times x x we know u to the one half well uh, let's simplify so here uh, 2 so here 1 over 4 integral from 0 to 1 now here u to the i over 2 here also u to the one half so let's simplify so we have u to the i minus 1 over 2 plus u to the minus 1 minus i over 2 over now here we have 1 plus u times du okay again uh, i'm going to uh, simplify because now i'm going to use again a beta function so here 1 over 4 integral from 0 to 1 now here we have u to the 1 plus i over 2 minus 1 plus u to the 1 minus i over 2 minus 1 over 1 plus u raised to the uh, 1 plus i over 2 uh, plus 1 minus i over 2 then here we have du okay uh, let's call the uh, beta function we know beta of mn is equal to integral from 0 to 1 x to the m minus 1 plus x to the n minus 1 over 1 plus x raised to the m plus n dx so using beta function uh, we can write our integral is equal to 1 over 4 uh, beta of beta of 1 plus i over 2 comma 1 minus i over 2 then uh, we know uh, we can convert beta function uh, to gamma function so we have 1 over 4 uh, gamma of gamma of 1 plus i over 2 times gamma of 1 minus i over 2 over uh, gamma of 1 plus i over 2 plus 1 minus i over 2 we know 1 we can write uh, here 1 over 4 gamma of 1 plus i over 2 times gamma of uh, 1 minus 1 plus i over 2 then uh, we can uh, again use uh, Euler's uh, reflection formula uh, because we know gamma of x times gamma of 1 minus x is equal to pi over sine of pi x so this is equal to 1 over 4 uh, times uh, pi over pi over sine of sine of uh, now here pi over 2 plus pi i over 2 then uh, we know 1 over 4 times pi over sine of i over 2 plus theta we know cosine of theta so cosine of i pi over 2 then uh, we know this is equal to pi over 4 times hyperbolic cosine of pi over 
2 okay this is the answer for our second integral if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching